Hi and welcome back to another video at the Koi Pond. If you're new to the channel please smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for future videos. Today we are doing a video on my GH, KH and PH. But first of all let's just have a look at the Koi feeding. That's just a quick look at the koi feeding. But let's jump straight into this video and check out my water parameters. All the others, nitrates and ammonia and nitrites are perfectly okay. I've not checked my GH or PH or KH for about a month now. So I think it's time to check them out. As you can see, I've got everything ready. I've got my test tubes my testing solutions so here we've got pH here we've got KH and CHB and CHA and then the most important the pond water So I'll do the pH first. Fill the test tube up to the 5 mil mark. Put the cap on and we'll fill all the others up ready. So again, fill this one up to 5 mils. As you can see there, and replace the cap. The next one, again, five mils. Replace the cap. That's all our test tubes with the pond water in. To get the pH solution, give it a quick shake. We need five drops, so I'll take the lid off. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. Put the lid back on. Good as a shake, looks alright between yellow and green, I'll leave that one there. Now we'll get the KH, I don't know if you can see that on the pit camera, that's KH, give it a shake, get the test tube, now you want the first drop to turn blue. So we put the first drop in. I'll just give it a little shake. So there, it's gone blue. It's a bit pale, but it's only just gone blue. So that's 
add some more drops now and we want it to go yellow again and we'll keep counting the drops until it changes yellow and then that's your reading so drop number two place the lid well after the second drop it's gone yellow like a see through yellow it's not very good so we're gonna have to sort that out we'll put that there now this is the um, general hardness I'll take the lid off that test tube put it down there and we'll get A G H A I want two drops one two That's got a nice purple colour. And we need this one to go blue. What does that have to check then? So we need that to go blue with key H G H B solution. And again, we do one drop at a time until it goes blue. Place the lid. Do this shape. That's two. Three. Four. Five. As you can see, the um, pink is starting to get lighter. But we're not at blue yet, so that's five. Six, seven, two drops went in there, so that's seven. It's still pink, and we're on seven drops. Eight. Eight drops. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Still pink. Twelve. Sorry about my noisy chickens. Twelve. A bit noisy my chickens today. Thirteen. Fourteen. Don't want to change, does it? Fifteen. Go in there. Get in there. Sixteen. 
16. No, it's gone. 16 drops, it's taken it, which is good. According to this, anything over eight, really. That's taken it, 16 drops. So that's all right. That's not too bad. That needs sorting out. So let's see if I've got any uh, KH buffer to uh, sort this out. We only move it. Looks like I've got no KH buffer. So what am I going to do? I need to sort this KH out today. So I need to do it. What can I use? So let's see if I can use something in the kitchen cupboards. Wow. Well. No, nothing in there on the top. No, there's pasta sauce. Right, try the next cupboard. Pasta, pasta. Aha. Uh -huh. Bicarbonate or soda. Excellent. This will do the job. This will raise my KH up. So let's go outside and use this. This is the cheaper option than buying your buffers from your pond suppliers. This is like £1.60 at the local supermarket. The normal pond buffers are about £9, £15, something like that. So... So yeah, um, bicarbonate soda is the ideal good choice if you've got no money or an emergency and you've got no KH buffer. But make sure it's a food grade standard soda. So let's get on with this. If you put 100 grams per thousand gallons of pond water, that's a hundred grams for a, a thousand gallons of pond water. I'll put all the um, information down in the description down below with how much to use and stuff and how long. You do it all every 24 hours, keep testing the water though. So we'll get on with that. I will use bicarbonate of soda. So, I'll get my weighing scales. There we go. That's zero. Get my jug. Zero. Put the soda into the jug. I'm going to need about 700 grams. That's like 7,000 gallons of pond water. I'll just make a hundred grams up and just show you then I'll do the rest off camera.
it's best to do it in stages. So there's 103 grams of bicarbonate soda. All we need to do now is add pond water, mix it up and evenly spread it over the pond surface. So we've added the pond water, we we'll give it a quick stir with a stick. Mix it all in. This will help with your pH, KH and DH. And then just evenly spread it over your water. I'm going to have to do this six more times. So that's how you treat your KH, PH and your general hardness with carbon and soda. But please make sure it's the food standard. One. Thank you for watching the video on how to treat your um, pond with bicarbonate of soda if you don't have any buffers to buff up your KH, DH and your um, PH. This is the best budget choice I would recommend. It only costs £1.60. It's better than paying a tenner. So, until the next video thank you for watching please smash that subscribe button hit that notification bell for future videos and give a thumbs up or thumbs down if you like the video and until next time happy ponding